I'm going to show you how to take a uh, basic HTML page. This is just the template that comes from Replit. And we're going to turn it into a business card template. Um, I've got the business card model that I want to copy here. Um, and right now I'm going to focus on making the HTML, which is the representation of what all the tags are, correct, rather than uh, focusing on how it looks yet. The looks will come second. Um, so the first thing to do with HTML is to basically break this into sections. So the first thing I see is I have the whole business card, right? And I'm going to want to be able to lay that out probably to be a fixed width and a height so it looks kind of like a business card when I lay it out in the web browser. I'll go ahead and use main, which is like the biggest tag after body I could use, um, to break that up. The next biggest division I see is going to be Right down the middle, I have a division of two sections. There's a left and a right-hand side. Um, now, one of the principles of HTML and style rules is that we typically aren't thinking of things in terms of their looks, but in terms of what they are. So if I look at this, I'll notice the left-hand side is about the company that this fake designer works for, and the right-hand side is the information for the person. So I can throw in a comment here that just says what these are, company and then individual. All right. Um, later on, you might also see people adding attributes to the tag to know what things are. So you might also see something like that in code. Um, I'm going to leave those off for this intro example. All right. Next step would be to take each section and see what's inside of it. So within this section, I have, again, two sections, a top and a bottom. Um, and our most generic divider is div, so I could just use divs. One of those would be image. I don't actually have a logo yet, but I'll just put in a link as if I did. Um, and then below that, I've got the second little section which has this information here. Um, these kind of like headers, traditionally you should only have one H1 header on a page. There's kind of two equally important headers on this, so I'm actually going to start with H2. H2, Studio Iconic, H2, and then beneath that I have H3, Product Design. Um, and we'll notice we're going to have something very similar on the other side. So if I come to the right-hand side, I'm actually going to copy and paste this because it looks just the same. So instead of saying Studio Iconic, though, I'm just going to say Odin Quest and Creative Director. And that I just did this top one. And then there's going to be one, two, three more. So four divs in total. So I can go ahead and create those. That's one. You'll notice I use a fair amount of copy pasting. You can do that as well. Just Command C, Command V. So that's my three more divs. All right. Um, I'm going to skip this for now and come back to it. If I jump to this guy, that's just an address. So it's pretty much just text, right? Um, and it's text with a line break in it. So we'll just use the BR line break tag. Very simple. And similar here, this is just text with line breaks. Um, sometimes. Replit tries to autocomplete in ways you might not like. like. Yeah, all right. And then, okay. And here I need to add the line breaks. Um, these will probably eventually be links. They should be. Obviously, you can't click a card. Everything you might click on a phone should be a link. We'll do that in a minute. Um, last thing I left off was these phone numbers. Um, notice that the phone numbers are laid out like a table with things 
there's mobile and telephone, and that's um, that's actually a special type. So that's a table type, um, and I'll go ahead and just lay that out. You could look this up on W3 Schools, but I happen to know it. So table, there's a T body, and then there are table rows, and each table row can have table cells, which are TD, or table headers, which are TH. I'm just going to use generic TDs for now, although you could argue that T is the header. Um, TD, and then there's my phone number. All right, and that's kind of a lot of tags, so I'm just going to copy and paste all of that. And then my mobile number just looks different like that. So there I've got mobile and phone. So I'm just about done now. Um, if I scroll through, now that this is laid out, I can break it down. So main is the business card. And then I've got two sections, left and right, company and individual. Within the company, there's a logo. And then there's the two headers for the uh, company and what the company does. And then if I look at my right-hand side, I've got the first one has the person's name, creative director. Then I have this table of phone numbers, and then I have the address, and then I have basically the web addresses. So um, that's everything I need to lay out the business card. Um, the tag, major tags I use, just section and div. Um, it's helpful to use different tag names because you can make style rules, which will apply to any individual tag name really easily. Um, so we'll do that in the next little video.